might prevent that from happening. Okay. The rigging will be like negative rigging. Mm -hmm. It won't be stuffing of ballot papers. In the past, the police have always been used to intimidate voters, and the police have always been used to um, intimidate people to vote for the ruling party and for President Mugabe. So I think it's a retrogressive move, um, considering also that when this law was passed, it was as a result of the talks that were ongoing between ZANU-PF and MDC. So it was an agreed electoral legislation. So now if the president using presidential powers changes that law, it means it's a negation of the agreement that the two parties had. Why would one candidate have the power to adjust the law to suit himself. You have here a referee, one of the players now acting like a referee, uh, pretending to be a competitor. We would have wished for a better environment, no doubt. ZBC is pretty biased. It you do get a few seconds and a few sound bites from McConey and from the MDC too, but the vast uh, predominant majority of the time and the essence and the content of what's being said is devoted to Zana PF. We were told by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission that there were 5.6 million registered voters. In the briefing that they held um, about a week ago, they said that there were 5.9 million registered voters. At the time that they conducted their mobile voter registration exercise, they said that 80,000 people registered to vote. So now the discrepancy of those figures um, have left us all wondering as to what is the exact number of registered votes, and that creates problems. Thank you.